everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a little Hobby Lobby um, haul to get some craft stuff for my paints and stuff. So I will see you inside. <laughs> Chavez. He's a big baby. Yep. You'll see a lot of him in our videos along with our other babies. We have four little dogs. They're all chihuahuas. Dave is our only full breed chihuahua. The other ones are Yorkie chihuahuas. Come here, Steve. Come here, Steve. Go to. Come here, babe. Come here, babe. Come here. This is, that this one's is Tyler's. Mine. This is Tyler's little dog. One of Evie and Dave's pups. They're going to be a year old in August. So this is little Stevie. You don't want to say hi to the camera, Steve? Say hi to the camera. Fix your hair, though. We love little dogs around here, don't we, Steve? Yeah. Kisses. This is? No? Okay. And Evie's around here somewhere. She doesn't like people. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you guys what I got. So, as you guys know, I do acrylic pours on my channel. Um, it's something that I find very relaxing and calming. Um, I like that each one is different. The No two of them are the same, and you never know how it's going to turn out. Um, the last couple that I did, I um, made videos and linked it, so I will put the links of those in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe this video. 
So I'm going to start off. Um, if you go watch my videos, you probably noticed, noticed I use trash bags under my paintings. So I finally broke down and bought a poor art drop cloth so I will stop wasting our trash bags. Because I think Kip gets a little sad about that. And there's no trash bags or they're all covered in paint. Um, I got some more spatulas to spread paint with. Um, they had like fancier ones, like the wooden handles with the metal spatula part. But I think the plastic ones work just fine. Um, I have a, another set that's blue, that's plastic. So those seem to work just fine. I got um, two. Let's see how big are these? 27 yards. I guess I didn't need two of them. So I got two of these. Um, you fill up your cup of paint with the flow trawl and everything in it, and then you put the string, however long you want, in the cup, like cover it in the paint, and then you lay it how you want on the canvas, and then you use something like this. I just got these easy up drywall hooks, because um, you just need something to pick the string up and drag it across the uh, canvas. So I got a pack of these. Um, when I was in, you'll probably see, you probably saw that I spent a lot of time in like the paint and acrylic pouring section of Hobby Lobby. Um, in my last couple videos, I put like some glitter and like some glittery eyeshadow in my paintings. Um, cause I didn't have like stuff for actual acrylic paintings. Um, but I did get this stuff. It is called Pour Art Embellishments. As you can see. It's like really super like thin, sparkly stuff, which is really cool. I got like a little 0.5 ounce jar of it. And on top of that, I saw these. They had like four or five different kinds, but I got this one because it's just really glittery and cute. And most of the ones I do have like blues and greens in my paints because green is my favorite color. Um, this comes with the three glitters and then a bottle of glue, which you actually don't use the glue for the acrylic paintings. Um, you do your acrylic pour paint and then you just sprinkle this glittery stuff on it. Or if you wanted to do like a glitter picture frame, you mix the glitter with the glue or you put the glue on and then sprinkle it on there. So I'm just going to use this to sprinkle kind of like this picture, how it has like the sparkles in it. That's what I'm looking for in my paintings. Um, I normally use the Apple Barn paint, I think is what it's called, um, but at Hobby Lobby they have these tubes of acrylic paints. They also have bottles of pre-mixed acrylic pour paints. Um, I didn't get any of those because I don't know how well they would work. Um, I might get some and try it in a different video uh, down the line. But I do know that these paints are really nice, so I got 10 different colors, like greens, yellow, got some orange, because I noticed I was running out of orange, um, got three different pink colors, and I got two purple ones, and then I got some more black. I didn't get any more white or any like grays or anything, because you could just mix white and black get gray and I already have like a big jug of white paint that I already have like the flow trawl and the silicone oil mixed in I already have it pre-mixed um, for my acrylic painting stuff I got some stuff for another DUI project I'll show it to you um, I got a circle canvas and then I got a hexagon that in my next video I'm gonna try doing the acrylic string pole paintings um, I do other crafts. Um, I saw a thing where you can take old picture frames and glue them together, like take out the cardboard so it's just see-through, and then um, you put like rocks in the bottom of it. So I got these white rocks because I think they're super pretty. They go with any color um, to go in the bottom of it. And then of course I love succulents. Uh, you probably you can't see it right now, but. One wall of our living room has 
six succulent plants and some cacti, cacti um, stuff on it. I super love these. These are so cute. Um, just a little pop of color for your house. I got two of them. I got the orange one and I got the black and white one, which these are super cute. Super affordable. These were 50% uh, off each. So I got buy one, get one, you know. I got two for the price of one. And then for my other crafts, I got some more cool shot glue sticks because I ran out doing a project for Tyler for his school project. Um, we had to make a Iroquois Indian shelter lodge, so we used popsicle sticks and glue sticks. It turned out pretty good. Hey, do you still have your project? Yeah. Go get it. Yeah. We're going to show you this cool project we made. With Lego people. And it was pretty nice. My best friend, Ashley, shout out to best best friend. Um, she actually came over and helped us. Um, we actually pulled like twigs off the trees, pulled out some grass to like make it real. And then she actually made the clothes for the little Indian guy. See, she made him his own buckskin clothes. So this is his little house we made. And the fact that it's still together is pretty nice. Here. So, I usually help Tyler with his school projects because I'm really crafty and have really good ideas. And then I bought this giant tube of E6000 um, industrial strength adhesive, best for creating. So it's like super glue, but like for crafts specifically. Um, I know my boyfriend talked about me in his like first intro YouTube video. Um, shout out to Kip Chavez. Love you. Kipopolis. That ain't even your name. Psh. So shout out to my boo. Um, and I'll clear something up. It's not Team Slytherin. It's Slytherin House. Throwing that out there, Kip. And everyone who watched his video. So yeah, that was my Hobby Lobby haul. Um, probably going to make a video later this afternoon of me doing the string art. I've never done one before, so when I get it uploaded, it'll be fun to watch. You want to say anything? Hi, partner. It's Tyler. <laughs> he likes being in our videos and making little cameos. Um, Throw us those subs. Throw us those subs. He's a goofball. But yeah, like and subscribe to my channel. And also check out... And I have Kip the coolest room in the world. Yeah. So check out Kipopolis Chavez on YouTube too. Oh yeah. Like and subscribe his channel. I don't know how to say a farewell. Because you got that peace thing. Well, oh, yes. this is Cater Tots, and I'm signing out.